Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bonnie, Old Sold Mermaid, and today we're gonna do a continuation of my video of my fall tarot decks. This video is going to be focusing on my fall Oracle and Lenormand decks. So if you stuck with me with that very long video with my tarot decks, this one isn't gonna be nearly as long. So let's get right into it. So my first fall or Halloween or or Samhain uh, themed Oracle deck in this category is going to be The Antiquities of Magic Oracle by Jillian C. Wild. She is the creator of the Naked Heart Tarot, and this was a Kickstarter deck. And truth be told, I have only played with it. I have not worked with it, but as far as oracles, and I'm gonna zoom up just a little bit, this is at the top of the list to be worked with during this season. It comes in a beautiful flip open box. I believe that this is still available on her website with the, um, you can opt in to, to have these extra, these are um, zodiac astrological sign cards. Now um, this, and look at the beautiful backs. I have a full unboxing of this deck on my channel. And because these are small, they're kind of Lenormand size. They're a very nice size. And they do kind of remind me, they have a Lenormand type feel. Um, but they're gorgeous quality and it has a wonderful guidebook. And like I said, I do believe this deck is still available if you go to her website. It's not a mass market deck like her tarot is, but um, if I believe it is, it's still it's still available. And this is at the top of my list as far as Oracle decks to work with this fall season. It could also probably um, trail into the winter season, but I am going to work with it during the dark months of the year. Okay, so that's the Antiquities of Oracle of I'm sorry, the Antiquities of Magic Oracle. And oh, these are the extra, in case you opt to look at her website, extra um, astrology cards that you can use to enhance your readings. And they are very, very beautiful. They have um, the same backings. So that is the Antiquities of Magic with the extra Zodiac astrological cards. And oh, just a quick view at the gorgeousness of this book. You can also use it for journaling and it's a great companion. All right, moving right along. The Divine Muses Oracle by Maureen Bento. She's also known, you can go to her website, it's Divine Muses. I believe this is still available in two iterations, this one, and she also has a mini that comes in a tin. And in my other video, I showed you the Antiquarian Tarot, and I used these both together. I haven't used them I don't think I've used this deck since last fall. That's why it's still in order, but it's a collage deck using Victorian, Edwardian imagery. You see those beautiful backs. And this deck is one of my favorites in conjunction with the, with the Antiquarian Tarot. I love Marie Bento's work. She has a new uh, tarot deck coming out along with a Lenormand deck. And um, maybe you can still get it in pre-order status if you go to, to, to divinemuses.com. Not everybody likes these, these um, you know, the old photography, old art, digital collage, but I do. I think I find it works really well with connecting with my ancestors. 
uh, shadow work and this deck is so it's good for any any of these decks you can use at any time of the year when need be but especially for the darker months for fall for Samhain um, for Halloween cute card of uh, Josephine Baker she just does a really bang up job and this has a light linen um, cardstock just like her tarot deck does and this is this is like one of my top favorite Oracle decks of all time I just love her work so if you go to D divinemuses.net you can find this and it comes in a nice little padded zipper pouch and it um, you can also you have the choice of buying the book with or without, I think. Um, but I would highly recommend getting her companion books. They are outstanding. Okay, so next, Oracle deck. <clears throat> this is a mass market deck that you can still get off of Amazon. And this is the Vintage Wisdom Oracle by Victoria Mosley. This has been out for a while and it is well known by many of you. Beautiful two-piece box. These cards are quite large and I know many have uh, edged the, um, you know, taken off the borders. But I have not and I will not because I am so afraid of botching it up. And I'm okay because the cards would still be big even if I took out the borders, you know, for my hands. But again, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of along the same theme as the <clears throat> Divine Muses Tarot, but with this Victorian Edwardian photography and art, just so beautiful. I'm a history buff and I, you know, everything from, you know, history itself from, from cosmetics to wardrobe to costume I, and just knowing about the way people lived in the past, what appealed to them, it, it just captures my imagination. And there are some John Waterhouse images in this deck as well. Um, it's just a magical, magical deck. I wish she would have created a tarot. I would have really have liked a com companion tarot to this deck. It is a wonderful favorite of mine. Beautiful, beautiful in every way. And I tend to use this Oracle deck with my Dream Keepers tarot. Uh, I find that it works beautifully with that one. But yes, beautiful, beautiful deck, mass market deck, won't break the bank, nice cardstock. We'll see who made. It's a U.S. Games deck. So yeah, great quality, beautiful, beautiful, fall vibes, good con for connecting with your ancestors, great, beautiful, to me, oops, I left out the title card. Um, connecting with your ancestor, ancestors, beautiful, beautiful deck. All right, next, this one is semi newer to my collection and I have not worked with it in earnest. <clears throat> I'm waiting to work with it with the Antique Anatomy Tarot, and I think it might be one that I work with first in this fall season. This is the Memento Mori Lenormand and Oracle deck by Claire Goodchild, who is the creator of the Antique Anatomy. And I just did a review of her Arcana, Arcana of Astrology deck on my YouTube channel. I did that I posted it yesterday, so if you're interested. But she does have a pre-order. This is on pre-order at a special price um, at $59.99. I think I paid $69.99 for this. 
And before I ordered this, and I, I think the cards are the same, the tuck box is the same, but I think she has updated the um, guidebook. I don't know what the changes are to the guidebook, but it, she says it has been um, changed. But this deck, oh, and I wanna, I separated the um, Lenormand cards and then the Oracle cards because you can use this deck um, both ways, just as a pure Oracle, but also as a, as a, a Lenormand deck. And that's the, um, the backs. It's got the beautiful antiquing as her antique anatomy tarot. So we'll take a look at some of these. And I think, yes, I did I, I may have um, separated these. Yeah, this is, these are the corresponding like Lenormand cards right here. Fish, man. And that's what's so great with this deck. I think there's 80 something cards in here. So I'm going to be using this as a Lenormand and as an Oracle. And that's why I was keeping the, um, the cards kind of separated. <coughs> and you can see the cardstock, I will tell you, is sturdier matte and much better than the mass market antique anatomy tarot. I have two copies of that deck because the cardstock isn't substantial at all. And I keep hearing rumors that they are going to up upgrade that cardstock. But um, if you know, if they have, if you have an upgraded cardstock deck, please let me know because I will jump on that in a hot second. So those were the Lenormand themed cards and then you go on to her straight oracle now she has put she has a podcast titled memento mori podcast going over each of the symbols of the cards she hasn't she's just started it so she hasn't there's not that many episodes but each episode they're they're short but they're just going over the um each of the cards in this deck and it's wonderfully spooky and magical, and I would highly recommend. Everything she does is just with panache. It just subtly creepy. It, it, and these cards are so thought-provoking, and they just make you, um, they just take you to another place. They really do. So I think you can still, um, this still may be in pre-order status. I would go to her Black in the Moon website maybe you can pre-order it on etsy which is where i think i initially did pre-order this deck a while ago and it is wonderful and magical and all kinds of creepy creepy goodness to this deck all right next one with the fall vibes i have as far as the Oracle, I have the Mystical Healing Cards by Ina Seagal. Now, it's the coloring, the old art. I don't know what it is, but, well, you can see these bags. They just, the coloring on these just scream fall to me. And I just recently, actually, I used this um, in August. And I found that this deck reads wonderfully as a um, oracle and the book is wonderful. And I have done an unboxing video on my channel of this deck, I believe. But it is fantastic. And it's kind of a mix of art. You get kind of the medieval art. You get um, some more modern depictions. And, and, and one of the strengths of it, is, I think, is the writing in, in the book. And 
Um, the next one is another Ina Seagal creation. Now I've worked with this one. I haven't really had a chance to work with this next one, but it's another, that was Mystical Healing Cards. This one is the Heal Yourself Reading Cards. Intuitive Guidance to Transform form your soul. And this one I want to work with in the dark months of the year. Look at those beautiful backs. So do you see how it has a dark, dark imagery? Not all of them because look at this one. But it does scream fall to me. It, it screams darkness. So late fall, um, winter, this might spill over into the winter months. I do want to work with this one. I've worked with the other one. I haven't worked with this one. But you see the, the similarities kind of in some of the cards, but the same but different. And it looks like Miss Seagal likes to deal with, um, healing as her subject, which I'm all for. Kind of fantasy images here, um, young, beautiful. So you're not gonna get a ton of diversity here. Not a ton, a little bit, but not with age, not with body. So you just have to, you know, kind of accept it. It is what it is. Um, but I like her writing, and so I'm very excited to work with this deck. This fall, or maybe spilling into the winter months. And that was Heal Yourself Reading Cards by Ina Seagal. Okay, now we are going to move into uh, Lenormand. And then I'm going to... We're going to move into Lenormand, and then we're going to um, kind of add some uh, tarot decks that I left off my last video, but I had 18 de decks in that video, and it was so long. So the first, my fall Lenormand is the Antiquarian Lenormand Resurrected by Marie Bento, so Divine Muses, and it comes in this wonderful little tin. She does have extra significator cards. Wonderful linen card stock. I mean, I just love, love, love. And see, I've got the extra significators. Or wait, they right here. But this is a wonderful, everything she does is with panache. I just love her collage. I love her taste. I love the old, Old Victorian Edwardian, Edwardian ephemera. I'm just, yeah, I'm, I just love that period of time. So this appeals to me. If you watch my videos, you can see <laughs> um, what appeals to me. This kind of art and collage work definitely appeals to me. think this is still available. Look at this little boy, child. That's precious. See, these kind of decks, they really, like Marie Bento's decks and Carrie Paris's The Relative Tarot, they really take me to another place. And it's because it, it, there's something about this artwork, the imagery. It, I don't know what it does to my brain, but I have the best readings with these type of decks. And that's, look at this old dog. And 
And these are, okay, I don't know why I had these turned backwards. These I have as my significators right now, but you can change them out. Oscar Wilde, Frida Kahlo, um, I'm wondering is if this is, what's his name, Howard Carter, who um, uh, discovered King Tut's tomb. Howard E. Carter, the Duke, was it the Duke of Carnarvon? I, I just, yeah, he has uh, the castle, uh, Downton Abbey, yeah the house that Downton Abbey is filmed in. Oscar Wilde, one of his favorite quotes, I am not young enough to know everything. And it does come with extra significator cards. There's a little book that comes with it. Is that Marie Curie, Albert Einstein, Florence Nightingale, Frederick Douglass, that's a title card. I'm not sure who this is. This looks like it's Tesla. But yes, they are extra significator cards and I like to switch them out every so often. So, and I just keep them wrapped up in this tissue. So, I would highly recommend it. If you're, this deck, if you are um, at all attracted to this kind of art, Go for it. The next one, another Lenormand deck, is the Celtic Lenormand. Well known, well loved, written by Chloe McCracken, artwork by Will Worthington, the artist of the um, Druid Craft Tarot and uh, the Wildwood Tarot and some other ones. This has also got extra cards in it, I believe. Yeah, so I've turned them. I've, have I turned them all? Yeah, lots of extras in this deck. Fantastic, the book is fantastic. You can just, um, the screams fall to me because of the yellows and the, and just the colors in here, but of course you can read with this at any time. Maybe it's because of the Celtic Druid energy. It just screams fall to me, even though this is spring. <laughs> but this is fall. And this, you know, the coloring looks to be very much fall. And the fox. I love the size of these cards. I think this is a U.S. Games Yes, US Games deck. So the quality is quite nice. And many of you are familiar with this deck. And one also the strengths of this deck is that you also get so many um, other choices, you know, for the snake, the rider, the birds. And yeah, the man and the lady, you can have different choices. So that is the Celtic Lenormand. Fantastic deck. Lots of choices. Lots of extra cards. And then the last Lenormand deck is the Stretch Lenormand by Joseph E. Stretch. And I don't have his tarot, but it's just like, same kind of vein as the antiquarian tarot and uh, Lenormand with this old artwork. Do you see how I'm drawn to it? <laughs> I'm very much drawn to it and I like what he did. He, um, if you can see it, it he collaged decoupaged a library, I mean a dictionary page, and he circled the, um, the word. He put the playing card correspondence of the card. 
I believe this is a courtesan known as Skittles. Was it Skittles? Maybe? The mistress of King Henry VII? Famously known for her horsemanship and her very small waist. <clears throat> but you can see, yes. Yes, 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 I am drawn to a certain type of deck and artwork. I think it's fantastic. I love the old feeling, the antiquing that was done, the distressing in the cards. This pack's a powerful punch. See the old ephemera. I just, I just, yeah. What else can I say? It's dark, it's freaky, it's gloomy. You know, this child has long since been dead. Been dead for a long time as this fox. And this bear. So, this is the Stretch Lenormand. The only quibble I have with this, and those are the backs, and I don't know if you can still get this, maybe if you go on his website, and I kind of antiqued the edges. Did I use burlap, the, the Tim Holtz Distress Oxider inks? If you can see that, I kind of antiqued it a little bit, made it to seem old to fit the, um, the front, and I think I did a really good job. <laughs> If I do say so myself. The um, thing I was disappointed with was the tuck box. It's very hard to take this out and I could tell I had to glue, re-glue some places of it. I think he got the the tuck boxes all flat and then glued them together himself. But, you know, I, this, this is not, this tuck box isn't going to stand the test of time. I will have to make some kind of bag or get a little tin box for this. Um, or a little plastic box for this. See, I can't, it's hard, and I've already kind of, uh, it's like I always need to have a knife or something to poke in there to lift it up. All right, so that is the end of my Lenormand, my Fall Lenormand and Oracle decks, but I am going to show you really quick some decks that I missed in my tarot video. And I'm going, how can I forget this? This is, it's because it's so small. It's my Bohemian Gothic mini tarot. By the time this deck was on my radar, it had already, the third edition had already sold out. Yeah. So it's like boo-hoo for me, right? So I do have the mini edition and I've been looking on eBay and now the prices are so exorbitant. But I think I heard Lisa from Supportive Tarot mention that there could be a reissue of this deck and I'm really hoping and praying. I'm glad I have this version. This version is going for like 200, it's now sold out as well. And it's going for like $200. 160 to 200 dollars on eBay I've seen it listed and the other editions you know the full size are going for two and three you know I've seen them for a couple of thousand dollars it's it's yeah so I I don't care how much I want it I don't have that kind of cash to spend on a tarot deck no matter how much I want it I'm really looking for the third edition sealed but I don't care as long as it's in good condition. Yeah, I really, really want it, but that is just a bit much, but I love this deck. Old, look at this Nosferatu. Um, it's dark, but it's done with a sense of humor. And that's what I love about this deck, this card, the Empress. Creepy smiles on the child and the Empress. So that was a deck that I missed in my video and I did etch this in black. You can see, um, I love it and I wish I had the large, for the full size version, but it is what it is. 
And the next, I only have two more decks to show you. The Saucer Rubido Tarot by Stacia Brington. Beautiful fall deck, but actually I think I worked with this <laughs> in early summer, but because of the coloring of the deck and the beautiful gold edging, you will see that it just says fall to me. But I did recently work with this deck, and I think early in the summer, so I don't know if I'm going to get to it in the fall again, but it is it, it is a fall deck. It's just, you know, I worked with it around the time that I purchased it because I was so excited about it. And it is a well-known deck to many of you and a well-known favorite, so... I won't spend too much time on this because you all know it and love it. I think most of you love it. Let me know any of your thoughts on any of these decks. If you have them, if you worked on them, I have my last deck to show you. The Crow Tarot by MJ and I can't pronounce her last name. I'm sorry. <laughs> um beautiful beautiful deck screams fall to me easy reader for me for an animal deck and usually um, the animal decks I have to work a little bit harder with but this one I found I connected with very very quickly and this deck has been around for a while and you all know it you, many of you love it. It's um, mass market, easily obtainable. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. So I had to put those last three tarot decks. Yeah, my other video was, had about 18 decks in it, I think. So it was quite long. And if you watched it all the way through, thank you. <laughs> All right, so this is completing my Oracle and Normand and my leftover tarot decks, my fall decks, or actually some of these may spill over into winter. And let me know in the comments what decks you're going to be planning on working with. What are your top yeah, let me know what are your top, maybe three decks, your top three oracle decks, your top three tarot decks that you plan to be working with, that you know you will be working with in the fall. Um, I'm still deciding kind of what I'm gonna go forward with. I'm trying to think as I go through um, these decks and these videos, what is gonna take priority? Um, probably decks that I have not worked with in depth. So let me know in the comments below what your top three that you plan to work with. Oracle, Lenormand, uh, Tarot. Yeah, I'd love to hear it. And maybe you'll give me some ideas for decks. So until next time, thanks for um, sticking with me. And I hope you have the best of days. Bye for now.